to the body. So I ran mine. I'm not going to take my time, but I'm going to run it again. How you feel, baby? One more lap. 625. Good job, Sammy. Go up to my lane. Let's see your hand up in the air. All right, but uh, last lap. But you're doing it. Very disappointed. I should feel. I feel like I should be able to do a lot more. But he did well too, man. Me and him. Josh about to do a second mile right now. We want to. He's about to. Oh, off. really? I'm the slowest guy in the group. No, man. You can be me. You can be. <laughs> no. You can be in this group. So you're gonna go for another mile? Yeah, I'm gonna do another mile. That's because uh, I have a goal to reach. I gotta. I gotta do two miles under 12 minutes. Okay. And I'm nowhere close. It looks like. From what I see, it's going to take me another four months uh -huh. at least, maybe five months to get there. Okay. But I did my mile in about 6.54, uh -huh. and uh, I know there's a lot of track stars out there laughing right now, like, uh. 6.54 is very good. Actually. I'm, uh, I'm going to do another mile just to, uh, just to keep it. work on my rhythm and flow of running and get those legs going. So this is fun, man. This is fun. I'm the laugh. I guess it's fun when you do pretty good. <laughs> Y'all saw the other video. I wasn't smiling at all. I wasn't smiling at all. Alhamdulillah. Let's go, y'all. Everybody get a ball. We got, we got, we got four balls. Somebody get at the 10-yard line. Somebody get over here. And make sure you're stressed before you do this. You don't want to pull anything in your shoulder. Honestly. Then you backpedal. Oh! I'm not trying to get past 
just said something, man. You can't, can't deny it. <laughs> 25 yards. Come on, guys. Come on, Abdul Malik. Come on. He's on the red. He's on the red. Oh. Oh. Coach pushed me through. Let's go. Good job, Tariq. This is one of the CrossFit workouts. Yeah. And and we want to be we want to be better than any CrossFit workout, right? <laughs> exactly. You want to, yeah, yeah. No, I'll push up. No. Keep up with them. Keep up with them. Yeah, this is a beast workout right here. Yeah, it really is. This is a beast. Come on. You gotta dig deep on this one. Don't even think about it. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Keep moving. I say that. For the millions of people on watching Dean TV. Man, this is a lifestyle. We're talking about a mentality. We're talking about going as hard as you can and, and really taking the, the mental state over over the, the, the physical. And and that's what, what we're here to do for each other. This group mentality, this suhba, this companionship. We're trying to we're trying to motivate each other. Let's go, 25 burpees. Let's go. 25 burpees. 120. 125. Plus 126. Let's go. We're here to motivate each other. Let's go. Let's go. 131. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. 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 When you're getting six hours of sleep, what's happening? Your body is, is storing the fat and it's not burning it because you're burning it when you're sleeping, right? You, and your body's waking up, right? And it's kind of like sending signal like when you're fasting, right? What happens when you when you fast and you have suhoor? It gets stored, right? The fat gets stored because your body knows that, uh-oh, I'm not going to eat for nine hours. So it's no different when you deprive yourself of sleep. And then, and then naturally, you know, I read an article that said the same thing, that you can actually gain weight oh. if you're not getting proper. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know what Crazy. I mean? It's like, it's like you know, you, you do all this working out, they say you're eating good, and then you ain't sleeping. So it's a whole lifestyle thing, man. It's sleep, it's food, and it's working out. Uh, alhamdulillah, this was a hard workout. I, uh, I'm not good at cardio, and that's something I know I need to work on. I was the slowest man there on the third round. I try to catch up, try to spin it up. I'm used to like fast movements. In martial arts, we do fast movements, but it's the cardio that really, really pushes you. And my knee kind of swelled up last night, but I'm not the kind of guy who gives excuses. You just got to push through it, you know? And this, uh, this is the prophetic tradition. What we do as Muslims, we, we do the best. Wasari'u and race to the forgiveness of Allah. Inshallah, Allah will forgive me my sins from all the pain that I'm going through. You know, every ounce of pain that you have, Allah might take away some some of your sins, inshallah. So keep it up, work out, keep the faith. Josh will be back next time, inshallah.